Warren Ballot to do the ruck work alongside Jess Good. Has to give the footy up. They're attacking quite straight, and that's straight back into the numbers once again. A lot of there's a quick play. Doesn't matter. They're going to try and make it up and move it quick. The turnover results in a Vessio ball in the pocket. Very beautifully, and there's that pressure as well when it's not coming from. Carlton can clear Velado. There's that change of direction that you've been talking about, Dicko, and they open up the outer side. Here we go, round two from Arden Street. First game here in North Melbourne. Vessio, quick hands. Shara, and then Moody. Twice she goes, the third time she's set upon by a couple of blues. Big it's Garner. Fire it out by McKay to Mimi Hill. What a combination. 50. Good. Fitzpatrick. McKay. Having a run. Hill. Yeah, great to see Chelsea Roffey back in action. Lalawifi. Hill. Rising star winner from a couple of seasons ago. To the left, and that's a reliable kick. Wants to go. Move it. Chain of handballs. Now... Do you like it or the experiment should be over? Looking backwards, Lewis elects the hand pass in the end to a stationary Roberts who skies one. And that'll allow Hill to come in and fly. That's exactly what I'm talking about there. Just high up and under. There's no care with the footy. He already gave her the advantage. The ball tracked its way back to Wake. Just dotted itself beautifully onto the flag of Skepper pushing forward. Hill just worked that net. The ground. Vickers with the run and carry. Skepper and then Hill to lower the eyes, which was something they were missing. That handball came in board for McKay, who just chipped it short. And again, Carlton are going to move it forward. They've got territory at the moment. Build up to the Vessio goal. Trent Cooper, if you're Michael Pryor right now, and he's coach between the Sharon and the grass. The kick's not the best, though. There for Charlie Thomas, who had a wrist injury a couple of years ago as well. Hill with ex West need to continue to drive this team forward. Game point 19 so far for Swanson Hills. Kick to McWilliam. Lalawifi calculated as always. Space the kick for Hill, who had to win. Zoe, wait for, sorry, the debutante with Sister Lauren. Drafted at picks 15 and 36. numbers that you've got around you. Ortlep run from the back in the form of Hill. Leading target again. Around, back to Dempsey. Oh, great smother by Hill. Hill's been in everything from goal. Handballs it around using Hill. Before that we talked about in the pre-match. Shera McKay. Off to the run of Hill. Trying to go three and one after the first four rounds. Kelly wins it in the air at ground level. It's held in. What a uh, feast of footy. I out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Look really really tough. <laughs> <laughs> the insights of AFL double rocket and pack, and it came out with pack at Ruby. <laughs> Here they go, the Blues. Trucks it beautifully, gives it up to the run of Hill. Been one of the best on ground. Uses Shera. Play on advantage Hill. Hill. One straight kick in this. Hill. Great kick. And hope that Seymour rises high, which she does. It's hungry out there. They're not just allowing their teammate to do it. They want to get involved, put the pressure on. They're just suffocating the Blues, aren't they, with their tackle pressure. Far through Brown Moody. Will hopefully pay off for them over the course of the match. Tough play to get past. Accuracy in front of goal. We spoke about the ball movement off half back for the Blues, and what I loved was over the head of Dow Post, but it's still going to work out here for the Blues as Hill snaps towards goal, and Mia Austin can run into an open goal and play. Worked really hard to affect the the intercept. It was a Morfitt in ruck for the Swans, a chance for them in, a, in attack, but it to get some speed on the game from the Swans. Morford out wide for Hurley. Kicks in board. Completing the mark is Hill. Pluck. That is a great pluck. Centering kick to a dangerous position. 
She's wound back the clock today, and now she wants to give it off. The shot on goal from Mimi Hill, and she's put it through. Midfielder as well is that they're hungry for the footy. They want the ball in their hands. They want to take the responsibility, and they're able to hit the scoreboard. So great start by the Blues. And you could see it in their reaction. They knew it was important to kick the first one. Of the second quarter. Now they have a pretty handy nine-point lead on what's been a really close encounter as Peterson again wins it out of the middle. Strongly in a tackle. Austin got it. Hill got Hill. Dominating. What a mark, Vessio. Hill. Moody. Expected to mark that. Hill, Vickers, almost caught by Berry. Off to McKay to Hill. Hill is caught by Blackburn, but Rosession. Fitzpatrick gave to Hill. She loses it. Goes back and fights for it. Heard a few knees, but not the media. Hill. Just a rush kick inside 50, but... To the Blues. A tap for Edmonds, but good use of the body. McKay gives a position in the top eight and, and perhaps even a position in the top four. This will get them to fifth. Up to the Pies, who've won the last four encounters between these two teams after the ball on the left towards McWilliams, who had two to beat, lost the footing. Hill pivots the hand pass. 100%, but good enough as Moody gets over the top and tries to slap the footy clear. She'll receive it back. Gap, Campbell, Rowe, didn't get a fist on it. Hill was Clisson. McKay, Hill, shuffled the hand pass. It'll be Hill. Yes, absolutely. We're seeing Georgia Garnett. She's going to play one end of the ground today. She's gone forward to that right of your screen. That's where she will be pretty much all day, I reckon. Here's Skep up on the wing, looking for some support in Mimi Hill. Run to half forward and look to hit a target inside 50. Really Skeppy you see there to Mim Hill, who got forward of the contest. And then just to... Spills away of Pease. Her kick smothered. Good pressure to finish their season on a high. Hill. It's been a tight contest so far. She spears that to Hill. With rocks. For Parker and Beeson. Intercepts for the Blues. Chips it up towards half forward. Hill presents. Right. Can wheel and go. Spears it inside for. Minimising their opportunities. The Giants are playing a really, really tough brand of footy in the first two terms, but it's a, t a style of. Right at best. It's a great read from Moore. Read the cues really early on that occasion. For Hill. And stretched arms in board to show. <laughs> Ball back into play. Bar. Can't break free. Well, they take the advantage, they will. Fitzgerald off to Hill. To the goal square. A two-on-one favouring the Giants, but it spills to corner. Another defender can run into an open goal. Oh, Hill gets involved. Great chase and move. He's doing a hell of a lot of work defensively. Dragon. all of a sudden, the Blues are back in. This is a huge centre bounce. Tackles, three clearances. Doing her. Now to Skepa. Now to Hill. Kicks down the line, and Sherry gets it back again. This time, hits a target in here. Stepping in, she said that at three-quarter time. It's, it's a nice phrase for what they've been able to do. Hill to a one-on-one. Vessio against Bush. Did really well. Back to Hill. Up to half forward. What the coaching staff want to see is run, run out these games. Get some reward for effort. Going to be able to get easy ball. Saints with the only three clearances of the game so far. Exxon will make it four. But perhaps balls with it. And her opposing 14 priest is off and gone. A bit too much on it though for Joe Leaf and right spot. Joe Leaf flies through. Richards. Oh, Saints send it their way again. Friend back with a flight. Hammered. And it was friendly fire at that from Boyd. Friend recovers. Hill gets the kick away. Under pressure for her for most of the afternoon. Gives it off. Ding on to see what this does for their own chances. Hill got it back from Velado. The ladder sits. 80 seconds left in this first of three. Fantastic games to complete. The 90 game 